will just be a short recap video of how 2021 went for me. So at the beginning of the year, it feels really hopeful because a lot of developed countries are vaccinating a huge chunk of their population, and yung COVID cases natin dito are in the manageable numbers. So I think nagahaver lang yung COVID cases natin dito between a thousand to two thousand cases per day nung nung beginning of the year. So I grabbed that chance, and meron ako friends si Gian who's running a banana bread business. So I did made a video for him, and also I have a friend si San. So she works in real estate industry. So I did also made a video for him to say some of the listings. Yeah. Then also at the time I was in talks with Maven for a collaboration podcast. So she has her own personal finance YouTube channel. And yung podcast naman went really well. So if you want to check yung conversation naman, I'll put links down below. Looking back, it feels like yung first quarter is really tight because there's a lot of collaboration happening. So I was also in talks with Angela who owns a leather craft business, specifically yung Alpha Gents Leather. So he sent me yung mga works niya to check it out because he's also a subscriber. Up until today, I'm using the wallet na pinadala niya sa akin. This is my main wallet. So every time that I go out, daladala ko to, and I could definitely vouch the work niya because after a year of using it, it aged really well, and walang stitch na tatanggal dun sa wallet. So I really appreciate its work because the quality is really good. So if you're looking for a Philippine-made leather craft that is quality, go check his site out. And also, meron din siyang YouTube channel about leather. So if you're into leather craft, I might also check yung YouTube niya. Again, I'm just appreciating yung quality ng work niya because it's very rare to see a fellow Filipino na merong quality work. And also at the time, I got my first break as a freelance photographer. So I was hired by my friend's brother to capture yung simple civil wedding nila. And at that time, alam mo yun, nung first quarter ng 2021, I was building a good momentum. So alam mo yun, lahat to nangyari ng 2021. But again, two consecutive lockdown happened. And parang lahat ng momentum ko natigil. And alam mo yun, pagka ganun yung nangyari, parang you have to start from scratch all over again. Siguro there's only one positive thing na nangyari due to the lockdown. I was able to take advantage sa market movement. So... At first, yung first lockdown, I gave up a lot of the gains I made ng fourth quarter of 2020. But fortunately, I was able to take advantage ng dip. So by April and May, I was already accumulating and then nag-big profit agad ako ng June. So yun, I think so far this year, April and May is my most profitable months in terms of kung kailan ako binili yung mga stocks na binili ko. Siguro the major story dun sa last half of the year para sa stock market is yung Evergrande and Omicron. So sa Evergrande, I think na-stop lahat ng position ko dun at that time nung lumabas yung pag-de-default nung Evergrande na bankrupt sila. And then yung I think last week of November naman lumabas yung news about Omicron. And actually, I bought yung yung dip ng Omicron na yon because I was supposed to be selling most of my positions that by this time. But fortunately, or not fortunately, Omicron happened and nagkaroon ng panic selling, so I bought that dip. So alam mo yun, time will only tell kung tama ba yung decision ko na binili ko yung dip na yon because if um nagmeet ng new highs yung market, makarecover yung market, then tama yung decision ko to buy the dip. And if the market tanks and malam yun parang hindi niya siya umangat ulit, then my decision is wrong. And ganun lang talaga. So let's just see what happens next year. Then my brother turned me into an Axie Scholar, which is my entry point to crypto. And so far, roller coaster ride. Ang daming ups, ang daming downs. Sobrang wild yung mga swings. And I think sa ngayon, as I'm recording this video, negative yung port ko, I think mga negative 10%. Pero I'm not worried because feeling ko I'm still in control. And yun, uh, since mid-November, bearish yung movement as, as I'm recording this video nung, nung crypto market. Nakakatawa isipin kasi if crypto lang yung na-trade mong market, especially if umasok ka sa crypto somewhere in 2020 up until today. So somewhere between 2020 and to 2021 ka lang nag-trade ng uh, crypto. Yung 1 to 3 months of market consolidation is already a sign of market weakness. And ako, coming from PSE, natatawa ako kasi Sobrang saglit lang nun compared dun sa na-experience ko ng 2 years na consolidation na tulog talaga yung pera. And siguro kaya, kaya rin hindi ako kinakabahan is because of my past experience. And alam mo, if you're holding something that has really good fundamentals, at the very least, at some point in time, we break even ka. So, ayun lang. And ayun, um, I'm really into crypto right now. So, I'll be making dedicated videos about crypto next year. What else? I've got myself vaccinated this year. Then, the economy opens up again. Got to hang out with family. 
got to play basketball again, went to a wedding, shoot a christening, shoot a simple company video, hang out with friends, and siguro there's a few more things that happened na hindi ko nalang marikol for this video. All in all, 2021 seems to be fine. It actually feels like a continuation of 2020 rather than 2021 is a, is a year of itself. Uh, siguro ganun ko siya put into words. Uh, so yun, all, siguro that's just how I'll put 2021. It's just a continuation of 2020 rather than 2021 is a year of itself. Siguro if there's something that 2021 remind me of is how much I still love making videos and collaborating with people. To say the last video that I shoot and made was for my uh, cousin's team, yung sa company nila. Hindi to yung seryosong video na for a company product ha. It's just yung parang Mr. and Miss lang nung, nung company nila. So they just parang become competitive so they asked me to help. And I really enjoyed yung yung pag shoot and, and making an idea into a video. So I hope next year I could make more videos that I enjoyed doing. Every year I think of a narrative or, or theme that I want my, my life to revolve up. So I think for the past couple of years, the theme or narrative is to live more in the present and not think too much about the past or worry too much about the future. And siguro for the next year, for the upcoming year, I want to be theme or narrative yung, yung taon ko is to be unapologetically myself. Ah no, siguro yun lang yung naiisip ko because you know at some point parang nakakapagod to to put up to put up an act or to be or to put or to put up an image na what others want you to be or kung ano yung gusto nila para sa iyo. Okay, that's it. This is my last video for the year and I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming holiday season. So, happy holidays.